Hi guys and welcome back to Blackwell Unbound. I really had to think for a second uh, <laughs> which one of the Blackwell games uh, I was playing, you know, what the title was. Um, yeah, so we were going to Johnny Ivory's and talk about the, uh, talk to the piano player, I think? And ask him about the C sharps, because his name is C. Hey C. Hello there. He's cute. A little bit. Um... Do you know anything about the C-sharps? The C-sharp? Nah. Nah, I've never heard Aw, oh, you're lying. Oh, he's lying through his teeth. See you around. Anytime, sister. Ah, uh, it's... <sighs> the Promenade Ghost once played in a band called the C-sharps. Yeah. We kind of knew that. Did he? I don't see what one has to do with the other. I don't know either. <laughs> but I still have the the option to talk about the New Yorker reporter. So maybe, um, maybe go to the reporter. Maybe he does know something about the uh, C sharps. Yes. I'm becoming darn right popular. Come in, have a seat. Darn right popular. Um, actually, what I found out is that this um, character is based on a real person who apparently did have the most popular case of a writer's block. Uh, and it's actually... Um, like, he suddenly stopped writing, but he was still working for the newspaper. And nobody knows why he stopped writing. Have you ever heard of a band called the C So, yeah. The C Sharps. Fun little fact. They were a jazz band, weren't they? You've heard of them? Yes. Can you tell me anything about them? Sorry, I've never actually heard them play. In my line of work, you just pick these things up. Well, yeah, but... Have you heard these reports of saxophone music on the Roosevelt Island Promenade? Saxophone music? On the Promenade? I'm afraid not. I haven't been to that area since... Well... In a while. Hmm. Okay. Um. I think that's all for now. All right. You have a good night now. I don't really know what else to do. C sharps. <laughs> um, maybe talk to the ghost? I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. Joey, how about you uh, <laughs> grab the saxophone again? Hello again. <laughs> I said <laughs> let go of that. that. Tell me about the C sharps. What are you, what are you crazy? crazy? Get out of here! Get out of here! Ooh! <laughs> okay, yeah, so he really doesn't want to talk. Nope, I can't leave the kid's side. I don't leave here until she does. <laughs> Joey! Okay, so I guess maybe just go home? How do we find out what his name is? We don't have a computer. We have a picture. Maybe we should have shown the picture to the... Um, the reporter. Uh, so let's look at notes. No, I don't see how those two things are linked. Uh. So we know. <sighs> Go back to Johnny Ivory's. Come on, let's get out. <laughs> right behind you. Um. I'm probably missing something. I love the song. All right, no, no humming. It's not okay. He already knows about this photograph. It's right behind him. Well, yeah, but he's not looking at it. So, maybe talk to him? Hey, C. 
Hello there. Can we talk about how his name is C and how the band is called the C Sharps? Are you sure you don't know anything about the C Sharps? There's a picture of that. <laughs> that voice here. line. <laughs> Lots of pictures appear on that wall. I just work here. I don't know its entire history. Now, you mind? I got a gig to finish. Yeah, he's starting to get irritated. Um. About that sax player. Yeah. He's in that photo behind you. Is he now? Yeah. Do you know him? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. <sighs> Before my time is on. Don't know who that is. Sorry. Yeah, no. See you around. Anytime, sister. I don't really know uh, what to do. No. I'll talk to him when we're alone. Hmm. Maybe Jambalaya Records? Maybe he has Not some info? Here, I don't. Like some extra info or something? What was the name of this band again? They were the C Sharps. Well, yeah, thank you. Um, but I just wanted to ask you about them. Hi yourself, again. You're up and late. Really? Yeah. Mm. I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem. You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get <laughs> started. Uh, so maybe I can ask about the C sharps. What can you tell me about the C sharps? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know. But I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know. Gelled? In tune with each <laughs> other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Guess they just moved on or just broke up. It happens, you know. So you don't know what happened to the C sharp? I don't know. They moved on or broke up. It happens. Well, that's good and all. What was the sax player's name? Ah, uh, well, it was a long time ago. I'm not much on individual names. I just remember the band. I only deal with the leader, you know? So who is the leader? Uh, sorry. You don't remember that either? It was a while ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not very helpful. Um Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. What can I do to find out the name? Let's go back to the ghost. Show him the picture? Hey, do you recognize this photograph? Hello? Nice try, sweetheart. <laughs> but I think a more direct approach is required. <sighs> Joey, get your ass over here. <laughs> um, is there anything we can ask? Hello again. I said, I said let, let go, go of that. that. Why are you haunting this place? Huh? What, what are you talking about, man? You're crazy! Get off before security gets you! Get out of here! Ooh! Oh. So we need to find out the sax player's name. That's kind of the point we're trying to make. But... It's the photo from Johnny Ivers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where would I be able to find more info on the C-Sharps? 
I would say at the bar from the piano play, but he just doesn't want to talk about it. He's stubborn. Hmm. This one looks interesting. Is there anything else on the plate? The only thing holding up that dress is fate. Pretty girl though. I wonder who she is. Ah, me Courtesy too. Courtesy of Jambalaya Records. Hmm. Might be worth checking out. Well, yeah, we did. <laughs> I don't know much about pianos, but it seems nice enough. It's his sheet music. He's barely looking at it. He must know the song. Mm. I can't just take the sheet music. That would be rude. Ah, we've done worse things. Especially in the last game. See? He seems to be enjoying himself. Even though there's nobody here to Everyone knows him. you're involved. Just hey, tell see? me. Hello there. Do you read the New Yorker? Nope. Sorry. I don't suppose you've seen a strange old woman around, have you? This is the village, sister. You <laughs> see all sorts out here. She calls herself the Countess. Sorry. Oh my god. Is that that sax player? Yeah. Are you sure you don't recognize him? Positive. About the sea sharks. I said, I don't know him. Leave it be. He definitely knows. About the sea sharks. I said, I don't know him. Leave it be. All right, maybe I just have to talk to Joey. See you around. Okay, he definitely. Time, he knows something. And I hate it because I can't. I can't figure out what to do. All right, all right, Joey. Let's talk, Joey. Yeah, doll. Need your help. Hi, Jack. Nothing springs to mind. That was the wrong voice line. Hi, Jack. Nothing springs to mind. Any thoughts on our sax playing ghost? No more than you, darling. He likes his music, that's for sure. I doubt we'll get anything useful from him. I know. That's why. I'm for now. Yeah, we'll talk more. That's later. why I'm trying to find out. Other stuff. Um. Uh, can I call anyone? Can't look up an address. Oh. Busy. I better go over there in person. Um. Busy. I better go over there in person. <laughs> Is calling Jack going to do anything? Is that you? Sis? Jesus. Now why'd you go and do that? Just back off, okay? Alright, alright. This is me backing off. Good. Alright. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Uh, so we went to Jambalaya... Uh, or Jambalaya Records. He doesn't know the name. Um, Johnny Ivories. He clearly knows. He just really doesn't want anything. You know. Maybe if I talk to him now, he's going to hey, snap. Sea. Hello there. About the C sharps. I said I don't know him. Leave it be. I was just thinking something. See you around. Anytime, sister. Do we need um that dictaphone that we got to record the music or something? There it is. I guess I could take this along. But whose music should I record? Um, Let's get out of here. Right behind you. Let's try and get the the ghost one first. I don't think he'd want that. Well, no, I want you to record it. 
This is a little recording device. It's called a dictaphone. Yeah, I know. I've been using it to record my dreams. Testing, testing. Hello? Does my voice really sound like that? <clears throat> Gotta cut back on the cigarettes. Anyway, I've been having some extreme dreams lately, but I don't remember any of them. I get the strangest feeling that they're important, but I can't put my finger on why. I'm keeping this recorder next to my pillow so I can record what I remember as soon as I wake up. First entry, February 21st, is it? God, my head. I dreamed tonight. It's already fading away. I saw my mother. She was calling out to me and waving. She was smiling, and her face was bright. So bright. This is not going to help. <laughs> I see a child, seven or eight years old. She's surrounded by other children, but she's all alone. I call out to her, but she doesn't hear. Something is wrong. With me? With her? It's fading. I see a man in tattered clothes. He looks at me and screams. I look in a mirror and see a huge horned demon. For some reason, I'm not surprised. Hmm. I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge staring at the seaport. I'm alone, strangely at peace. The water, it looks so cool and inviting. Suddenly I'm in the water, floating. I dreamt I was in a strange room. The walls are a deep pink, and there are books and papers everywhere. Joey is behind me, trying to get my attention. I ignore him. I feel strangely good about it. I see Jack and Maria. They're far away, but I know it's them. I see his glasses and her bright red hair. I want to join them. I run to catch up. I almost get there, but I, I trip and fall. Maria turns to help me up, but it's not Maria. She's got red hair like Maria, but it's someone else. She says she's sorry. Then I wake up. Is she talking about Rosangela? I'm in a hospital room. There's a Chinese girl lying on the bed. I want to help her, but she doesn't want to be helped. Suddenly, I say a magic word, and her eyes widen with trust. I've made a friend, and yet I don't want her friendship. I run away. I'm on a fire escape. I'm talking with a man who wants to be my friend. Suddenly, his face turns blue. He, he can't breathe. He dies. It's my fault. I could have stopped it. What the hell kind of I dreams? A huge house. I see <laughs> gas lamps and electric lights. I look into a mirror and see an old woman. She reaches out of the mirror to grab me. I take her hand and hold it tight. Then I wake up. I'm on a train, speeding away into the night. Next to me is a man. I know nothing about him, yet I trust him. I think I love him. Then he disappears. What did I do wrong? I'm trapped. Trapped somewhere bright. I see my mother and a woman I don't recognize. I see Joey far away, calling out for me. We're fighting for our lives, but it's too late. The world goes dark. Ugh, I hate that dream. Hmm. Well, I am going to end it there because I think I've been going on for a while. But yeah, those are some strange it's dreams. Um, it's called a dictaphone. I feel using it to record my dreams. like they both, um, like it's both the past and the, you know, and the future perhaps. So um, that's kind of interesting. Uh, so I'm going to save here. Um, Let's see, um, so the C shops. Oh, actually that gave me an idea, but I will finish um, the episode for now and I will see you next time. Bye!